my name is Jessica and I have no idea what I'm doing. I really don't. I'm going to try in this video to attempt to show you how I did this. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to come out the same on the other side, but we're going to try. Let's do a St. Patrick's Day tutorial. I think this is my first one. I wanted to do one and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. And then I thought of my recent Valentine's Day one and this happened. So I started by priming my eye, but I always do that. That's a personal choice. Then I'm taking my Kiko Super Color Eyeliner in 112. This is like an olive green color. And the first thing I'm going to do is map out the shamrock. If you think using a stick liner would be easier for you or eyeshadow, go for it. But for me, this is the easiest. So the first thing is to put like the first clover petal up here. So it's kind of like a heart shape. Kind of start the heart shape, but end part of it when you hit your crease and then the other over here. So kind of like that. Then the second petal is going in this direction. So again, that kind of heart shape, but you're not closing it off. Like that. Then I did the stem, so I went in that direction. Now I'm going to go in this direction. So basically you're just going to curve down, make a little line, and curve back up. These are definitely not going to be symmetrical. And really take your time with it if you have to. I'm going to bring that a little further up. There we go. Then for that final petal, you'll see that the corner of my eye is making the indent of the heart shape. So I started the heart onto my lid and started the other part of the heart on my lower lash line. Kind of like that. And now you want to let this dry for a little bit. Then I'm taking my BH Cosmetics brush with a three on it and the Ace Boutte Oceanic palette. And I'm going for the matte lime called Algae. Now, if you don't have these products or these palettes, that's totally fine. Use whatever you have or substitute for whatever you like. I wanted a matte lime for my transition shade. So I started on the inner part of my eye, away from the shamrock. And then as I went outward closer to the shamrock, I switched to my IBY crease brush, same shade, but smaller brush because now we're getting really close and you wanna make sure you keep that shamrock shape. So get in there, but don't cover the shamrock. I'm just going to blend it out a little more. Then I wanted a deep green for the crease, so I went with Pacific, which is almost like a tealy green, I guess. And I put this in the crease, I kind of just went in and kept building up and with more pigmentation. And as I got closer to the shamrock, I switched to my BH Cosmetics brush with a six on it so that I can really get up to where the shamrock begins and fit in the shape that it lends.
can even use it all the way across because I do want it really deep in the crease. I also want it on the outer third-ish of my eye. You can't go all the way to the side because the shamrock is there, but I'm taking my finger with that same shade and I'm carefully placing it there where the shamrock begins and blending it inward a little bit. Once I get to about there, I'm switching to the ColourPop Just My Luck palette for a deep shimmery green that's somewhere between a hunter green and an olive green, I guess. And I'm putting that in the middle of my lid, blending it into the matte deep green. And this shade is called 5050. Then I'm switching back to the Ace Boutte palette and I'm gonna use Jellyfish. I wanted like a light olivish spring green, but I didn't want it quite as bright as the lime that I'm going to use for the shamrock because I want the shamrock to be the real statement. So I'm putting this on the inner third and blending it into the shimmery deep green on the middle of the lid, just like that. Then I'm taking my BH Cosmetics brush with a five on it back into the matte lime and I'm going to put this on my lower lash line, so up to the shamrock drag it down a little bit, and I'm going to bring that about two-thirds of the way across. Then I'm taking my smaller version of that brush from Wish, going back into Pacific, the deep matte green, and I'm going to line close to my lower lash line with it, also touching the shamrock. And I'm going to go where I put the lime down, just closer to the lower lash line. Then going back into Just My Luck, I'm taking 50-50 again, and I'm gonna put that toward the middle of the lower lash line, right on top of what I've already done. And then back into Ace Boutte, Jellyfish, putting that on the inner third of the lower lash line blending it into the deep green, just like that. Now, going back and adjust my luck, I'm going to use the shade Mary Jane, which is the Bright Lime Shimmer. You might be better off if you use a wet brush for this, but we all know that I don't do that. So I'm taking my pinky to start. Oh, look at that. I have to say, this shade has gotten better with age. I remember I wasn't thrilled with its texture when I first got this palette, and now I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna start by putting it in the middle of the shamrock where I can reach best. And then as things get smaller, I'm gonna go back to my BH Cosmetics brush with a six on it and use that shade just filling in the shamrock. You might have to go over the shamrock again with the liner if your lines aren't as crisp at the end, but I didn't have to do that with the other side. I did have to fix up the stem a little bit, but I just used the deep green matte eyeshadow for that, and again, this brush. So I have a feeling that's gonna happen again. Let's see. Yep, so what I did was I just went back into Pacific, just a touch, and I ran it along the sides of the stem. I could also use the tiny brush from Wish here because it's like a line, just like that. To finish off, I'm using the e.l.f. multi-dimensional 
face and body highlight from the retro something or other collection in Luna. It's like a goldeny green highlight. And I'm just going to put that on the inner corner to brighten it up, make it fun, and give some like attraction between this side and that side. There's a word for it in art. I'm an art miner. I forget what it's called though. Then just like I did for this side, I'm going to curl my lashes and put on mascara. Today I'm using the Kiko Conscious Mascara. The other products I used today were just some moisturizer from Physiogel, just because I'm dry. And then I went over it with the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint Always On Radiant Skin Tint in one light, just because that's what I've been using lately. Then I covered up what I needed to cover up with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in 8B Porcelain Beige. Mine looks terrible. Does anyone else's do this? I can't, I can't get it to stop doing that. Then I set everything with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 110 Porcelain Matte and Poreless because that's what I like. I decided to go with a warmer kind of bronzer, so I did the Physician's Formula Donut Bronzer, the Butter Cheat Day something or other, and sprinkles. Just because I haven't used it in a while and it smells good. I like pairing orange with green for like blush and lip. So I use the KVD Fetish Blush and Highlighter Palette. And I use the shade Salem. I feel like I use that shade for so many tutorials. <laughs> Sorry they don't make it anymore. Just as I did with my eyes, I use the Luna highlighter on my cheeks. And then I wanted an orange glossy lip. So I went with the NYX Butter Lip Gloss in Cherry Cheesecake. That doesn't make sense because cherries are red, but I also don't think they make this anymore. Sorry. So yeah, this was fun and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you do it yourself, I would love to see it. Tag me on Instagram at Jessica4695. All right, that's it for today. I hope you have a good day no matter what it is you're doing. Bye, see you next time and happy St. Patrick's Day.